here at Black Ankle Vineyards on a beautiful day in May to announce our 2014 cruise through Spain, Morocco, and Portugal. We're very excited about this cruise following our 2012 Mediterranean adventure. Uh, 2012 was our first trip with Oceana and really our first time cruising. And we were just absolutely overwhelmed by how beautiful the boat was, how fantastic the service on Oceana was, really like a world-class hotel floating by some of the most stunning scenery you can imagine. And also by the food on the boat, just meal after meal, in, like eating in the best restaurant in town over and over for 10, 12 days straight. And then finally, we had just a fantastic time being with this small group of like-minded uh, food and wine lovers. Um, I think the rest of the people on the ship were looking at us wondering why we were having so much fun, than ever, more fun than everybody else. So overall, it was just a fantastic experience, and we are very much looking forward to doing it all again in 2014. We're really looking forward to the uh, 2014 cruise itinerary through some absolutely beautiful areas in Spain, and Portugal, and Morocco. We start in the world-famous city of Barcelona, always on the cutting edge of architecture and fashion and style, and of course, cuisine as well. We sail the next day to the beautiful island of Mallorca, international playground of sun, sea, and sand. Uh, then we're off to Ibiza, another island off the coast of Spain with its beautiful walled cities and olive groves. Uh, we then head back to the coast to Cartagena with its Art Nouveau architecture and Phoenician, Moorish, Roman, and, and Byzantine ruins. The next day, we're off to Valencia, the third largest city in Spain, and the city where pa different paella every day of the week. We're looking forward to that. We're only there one day, unfortunately. Uh, then we're off to Malaga on the coast of El Sol. Uh, birthplace of Picasso and nominated as the 2016 European culture capital. Uh, then we sail to the beautiful island of Gibraltar and the beautiful rock, all of its military history and the only apes living on the continent of Europe. Uh, from there we head down to our first and only stop in Africa in Casablanca in Morocco with its, its uh, intrigue, its mystery, the sophistication of, uh, of the, the culture uh, and the beautiful mosques as well. Then we sail back to the city of, of Cadiz in southern Spain, the oldest city on the continent of Europe, and a possible day trip up to Sevilla to see the Alcazar and the beautiful sights there. Uh, and lastly, we end up in the capital of Portugal and Lisbon with its beautiful uh, monasteries, castles, and towers, and not least, the birthplace of our own Sarah O'Hara. <laughs> so we're really excited about the itinerary and visiting these beautiful, beautiful places for 10 days next August. We have several special events planned for the group in 2014, including a wine dinner paired with our wines, uh, a vertical tasting of all of our vintages of crumbling lock and slate, led by Sarah and myself, and a couple of uh, special shore excursions to wineries just for our group, uh, likely to include a trip to an Andalusian sherry producer uh, and a trip to the, explore the wines of Mallorca. We are looking forward to another fantastic trip in 2014 with great food, great wine, and a great group of people. Our only warning is the 2012 trip sold out fairly early, so if you're thinking about coming, you want to make your plans as soon as you can. And we hope we'll see you on board.